I'm in the John Deere again because my brother left and my truck is on um is getting serviced but as I said here's the you know control panel like you know the monitor and then here's the buttons to control it to go forward backward neutral park off and on I'm still not used to it and then that one right there is just the for the bed but there's the mirrors mirrors and then forward I'm in the Volvo or not the Volvo the John Deere my brother's not here he left a little while ago there's passenger seat steering wheel and there's the control panel and the monitor for it and you have to use this lever as a um, freaking you know for the bed but it's just crazy how this works because it's just like I'm so used to having a lever for the gear shifter but this one's different you have to press in the brake which is down here and then you have to in order to go forward you have to press in the brake and then press forward and then it should stay right there F1 and then you go forward I was saying you know there's the little monitor and it also becomes a backup camera whenever you put it in reverse the Volvo has it up here so you can kind of see it a little bit better you know but it is what it is that's one of the things I don't like about it but hey it's a nice truck don't get me wrong um like I said, if you want to put it in a park, neutral, if you want to go forward, if you want to go reverse, you have to press in the uh, pedal brake down here, and then press the button, which is right here. So if I want to go to neutral, I press the brake, which I am, press neutral, and then it goes into neutral. If I want to put it in a parking brake, press the brake down, press park, it's now it's in park. If I want to take it out of park, press the brake, press that again, takes it out of park, now it's in neutral. Same thing with the going in the reverse, you press the brake, press that, now I'm in reverse. Then you do that same thing with forward. There's the forward button, press the brake, press forward, now I'm in forward. Pretty cool. And this also has a um, thing where it's a little knock little switch for the mirrors so instead of having to get out of the truck to you know manually adjust it you can sit in your seat like a car and adjust it that way which is pretty cool to me but you know I think this truck also automatically lifts up your bed if you just pull it back once it'll lift it up all by itself but I'm not 100% sure I have to test that out in a minute this truck really isn't that bad but, you know, it just, still there's just some things I don't like about it. This monitor turns into a backup screen. So if I press the brake, press reverse, it won't do it. But unless I reverse that. So now if I put it in reverse, now the backup camera is there. But on the Volvo, it's up there. So that's something I really like about the Volvo and this has a little less space than the Volvo, but it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal. Still a nice truck. A little stiff of a ride. But hey, it's nice. It's not my truck. I'm just driving until my truck gets fixed or uh, serviced. So, but Like I said, there's, you know, it tells you your miles per hour, your death fluid, and all the things that you need to know about your truck, your tachometer, and everything. John Deere. I had to do the um, bed up automatically without having to just hold this. So put it in neutral and watch. It's in neutral right now. Flip this back. It'll go up all by itself. You just hold the brake. It's in neutral. I'm not doing nothing. It's going up all by itself. Crazy. Did not know that. And then all of a sudden you just put it in forward and you go and then when you want to put your bed down you push forward once and then it goes down 
the Volvo, if you actually want to dump your load in your bed, you have to hold this lever down back towards you. But in this one, you don't have to do that, which is pretty cool. All you have to do is, I mean, I don't know about if you put it in, you know, forward and then you do it. But I do know if you put it in neutral and you hold your foot on the brake, it'll the bed will go up all by itself if you have it in park it won't do that you have to hold the lever this way towards yourself and then let the bed go up and then yeah but it's just like interesting because i've never seen that until i got into this truck and i just found it out today i'm like dang like that's pretty cool you know but like i said i also don't like the fact that the windows this is the only window that opens the window over here does not. This is just a big old window. The only other window that opens is this window right here, and it's like a crack. It's not like a lot. You know what I mean? It's just a little bit. Still have another like two, three hours, somewhere around there. So the thing is almost four. So between, not actually between one to two hours left. It's, it usually sunsets now right around like 5.30, so... We'll probably leave right around then. But yeah, that's just my little tutorial. Little walk through again of this truck since I've actually had a little bit more time to you know look at it. I mean it's not a bad truck, don't get me wrong. The mirrors and just little other things I don't really care for it, but it is what it is. You know, hopefully it's helped you. If you have any questions, let me know.